see a little more of that uh, high jump later. In the meantime, the men's uh, four one by 100 metres uh, semi-final getting ready. Britain drawn in the first semi-final. Stuart Story. Let's have a look at the full lineup and see what the opposition is. France are there, that's for sure. And it is the team that won the or took the world record until it was recently broken by the United States. They're in lane five. Look at Poland on the inside. Then Spain, Britain in three with Tony Jarrett, the lead-off man. Then Italy in four, France in five, Germany in six, Jamaica in seven, and Mexico on the outside. Well, for Great Britain, Tony Jarrett, bronze medal in the high hurdles, full of confidence, he'll enjoy this. John Regis, Belgrave Harriet, didn't make the final of the 200, but he goes on the second leg. Usually a pretty reliable character. Darren Braithwaite uh, is on the third leg, a Haringey athlete. And then Linford Christie brings the baton home. It is the same French team, though, they face that uh, broke the world record. Mornier, Sanguma, Trubal, and Bruno Mari Rose, the world record holder indoors for 200 metres. Jarrett, he's a superb sprinter, as uh, well as being the hurdler, the technician over those three foot six barriers. And uh, he has uh, the job of getting Britain off to the best possible start. First three, two fastest losers over two semi-finals. John Regis on the second leg, waiting for that baton. 10.20 over 100 metres, that's his best. He'll want to re-establish some confidence here. There's uh, the last leg, Bruno Mari Rose. That was uh, Stefano Tilly of Italy. <laughs> away first time, and Jarrett uh, got away quite well, the German. Uh, Alpt going well too, and the French running well, and Jarrett's had a good leg, and uh, the makers on the outside are doing very nicely indeed, and Regis is running a good leg here. Jamaica at 200 metres, Britain, and France and Britain in that order at the moment, and France now charging through on Jamaica, and Britain in third place at the moment. Those are the three as they come into the straight. And uh, Linford Christie has the baton. Bruno Rari Rose has the baton. Tillian Christie comes away. And this is a good run by Linford Christie. And Great Britain are going to come through. Uh, Christie wins it. Bruno Rari Rose just gets it from Christie uh, from the Jamaican John Mayer. 38.3. That doesn't matter. The qualification is there. Christie just eased off a little. It doesn't matter. The French former world record team are through. Well, it was a confident run, a safe run by the... A British quartet. The target was the Jamaican side, Green, to Ray Stewart, to Wayne Watson, and John Mayer. Uh, but it uh, was a very nice first leg, wasn't it, by Michael Green? Britain, well, Tony Jarrett, solid citizen, got it to uh, John Regis. And Regis, the 200 meter specialist, takes that long leg down the back straight. It is the longest leg, in effect. And the 200 meter specialist uh, are running against Ray Stewart of uh, Jamaica. Stewart, of course, uh, who's uh, really come back into real world class form in these world championships. A new found speed and power from him. The world indoor record holder for France there over 200 meters, taking that baton. But Christie has it and is well in control. John Mayer on the left of your picture, Stefano Tilly of Italy in the middle of your picture. The Italians coming in fourth. They'll have to wait to see whether they're fastest losers. Uh, Christie knows that he's in, eases off. Uh, Bruno Mari Rose of France comes through. France from Britain, from Jamaica, from Italy. What was important about that was that the British team, and it's not the strongest team, Marcus Adam is injured, had the edge then all the way, because Christie didn't run through the tape, had the edge all the way on the former French world record-breaking team that beat them in the European Championships uh, last year. Let's do a little assessment now of the takeovers. They looked good and looked safe on the first time. Regis already away. The hand coming out. Very safe, very safe. In fact, it was over safe. There's a little bit more to come from that, but it's better to be safe than sorry, uh, particularly in a semi-final qualification. The real battle is yet to come. The Italian, that's uh, Madonna on the second leg. But uh, John Regis, Enjoys that long straight. Handing now over to Darren Braithwaite, the 22-year-old from Haringey. Not bad. Safe again. Still no real danger. And, of course, uh, Braithwaite, who ran 10.31 here in the 100 metres. Looking good. 
And Christie, fourth in that marvellous 100 metres, puts that hand away, doesn't get hit first time. Braithwaite has to look for that hand, but it's safe. And once Linford has the baton in the, this kind of uh, position, he looks across, he knows Bruno Mai Rose is there, eases off. No one else uh, to tr trouble them with the first three to go through and two fastest losers. They're through. It was competent. And we await the final. Well, it looks to me like pretty well a full house in this uh, Olympic Stadium. Just over 60,000 people here. We understand they're paying 12,000 yen for a ticket this afternoon. And that's, uh, what, about 50 pounds, which is very, very expensive indeed. It costs uh, a little less than that in the morning sessions, about 20 pounds, to see the superstars of athletics.